Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. Hope you are all having an amazing day today. My name is Lex and welcome to today's car, which is this. This is the Ubermacht Cypher that comes out tomorrow in GT Online. I'm going to mix it up and do it a day early this time. So this is basically what I presume is a BMW M2. I'm not even going to try and guess what type of BMW M2. This is just a modern one. In this video, I just want to take a quick look at this car, see what it's like, see what parts we've got, and do a cool build for it. So, let's just find somewhere to park and have a closer look. And so here we are with the Ubermacht Cypher. This is actually also a new Ubermacht badge, because I really don't remember that at all. That looks completely different to what I remember. So here we have the outside. It does look very BMW M2-ish. I don't know much about modern BMWs to know what type. Uh, apparently, there's some M6 and M8 stuff in here. Again, I, I, I can't tell the difference. I don't have an eye for this sort of car. But here's the interior. Looks pretty nice. Not sure if this is taken from anything else or if it's actually unique to this car. We also have this interior. Got some nice red bits going on here. Nice looking seats as well. And we've got us a nice looking steering wheel as well. Pretty solid looking car. Underneath, well, we've got a boot. Not much in there. There's our door cards, and then we have our engine bay. Pretty simple, not much going on here. So for parts, I want to go for the details first. We always go the other way around. I want to look at the details first. So we have some trims. Oh, okay, secondary color trim, carbon trim, or stock trim. I kind of, I'm not sure how to think about that. I could see that being cool. I could see that being tacky. I'm not too sure. I'll go for a carbon one there. I'm sure I'll change all this later. We've got a lot of sunstrip options right here, including some primary colors and a bunch of branded ones. Mine Mac, Power Metal. Yep, okay. Uh, I might go for... It says plastic sunstrip. To me, that would just be like a matte black sticker. Although, does that really suit in with this sort of modern car? I'm not quite sure yet. On the interior, we have our stock. We have our street interior, which just takes out that stuff on the floor there. All the back seems to be the same. And then we have our race interior, which is still almost the same, but it just has some buttons. So not a massive change, nothing super stripped out. But I guess it's, I, I guess it is sort of race car-y, but not crazily so. And you know what? I'll go for that. It would be nice, actually, to have an option to just have this and still have the carpet. Uh, it's a shame we didn't have that combo, but that will do. Actually, we do have some more options on the dash. We have our carbon dash, which just turns this bottom section into uh, a glossy carbon. Then we have the woven as well. Interesting. Okay. We also have this in suede. Not bad. Or we have it in flux. I like those options because it's actually just in a small section. It's not like the whole dash. So we can also change this color as well. Uh, yeah, I might go for some carbon on that one. And again, our interior color, we can go ahead and change this whole section, which changes the seats and everything else as well. We also have our racing dials, which just adds these over here. I mean, a modern car like this, you'd think it would all just be done with computers showing you all this stuff, but uh, some people are into it. I get it. It sort of works. We'll, we'll add it. Why not? Let's just... Let's just add that in. On the doors, we have lots of options. We have our aluminium door panels, carbon bunch of these. We also have these lightweight cut out ones as well. It could go for that carbon one. I kind of like that sort of half stripped look. I don't know why this is something to it. I do wish I had the carpeted floor though. But beggars can't be choosers apparently. Seat options. We can just run through these. We have that carbon one and then I hope we're going to have that modern one. Yes. The modern one that we've seen a bunch in this new update. I really like these. I think they look very high quality and cool. I'm sure they're not that comfortable, but they do look cool. And they're they're much better quality. Like, these are really old buckets. These are like 2013 stock bucket seats that you were able to put in, like, the original cars from the original version of the game. So you can see the quality difference, and that's why I like this a lot more. So I'll just go for that. Steering wheel options are going to be pretty much the same as you'd expect on everything. His actual... Hands don't really match with that. Let's just keep that stock. Okay, engine bay. We have some engine cover. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Not really a BMW engine, but I guess, all right, okay. It's just, at this point, it's the generic tuner engine, I guess. We also have these in a bunch of options as well. Uh, we'll, we'll go for... That carbon texture actually looks awful. 
We'll just go for that exposed secondary or actually just the secondary. Yeah, let's just do that. And then we have strut braces and stuff like that. I mean, it's really cool that we have these options. But I always just think, like, when are you ever going to see this? I mean, you see it once for your build and then it's like that. In real life, you know, you take it to shows, you go out, you clean it. Oh, mind you, in the new update, there is actually shows and stuff. So, yeah, I guess it does make sense. Okay, on the rear, we have some diffuser options right here down the bottom here. I'm not sure what sort of bumper options we're going to get to know how this matches up. And also these are fins on the side as well. Um, I'll go for that primary diffuser, why not? Then we have the hood pins. I don't think that really matches what I want to do to this car, so I'll keep that stock. Then we have our options for the carbon fin. Now, I think this is a fun fact. I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure BMW was the manufacturer that actually started this whole fin aerial thing. I'm sure it was like in the 2000s or something, but it, old cars used to have the long aerials. And then I remember, I swear it was BMW, they started adding the little shark fin style uh, aerials. I could be completely wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that's how it goes down. Uh, so yeah, we could have a double fin for some reason. I mean, actually, to be honest, it all just looks junk, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, even that bit looks junk. It just looks like a sort of comical shark's fin. So maybe that one... Yeah, it looks a little less comical, that one, so we'll go for that. We also have some options for fenders. We have some extended fenders as well. Not too much, but extends it a little bit. We also have that in carbon, or we have some bolted versions. I like the higher quality of that, so I'm going to go for that. Livery options, we have 16. We have a bunch of stripe options in different colours. We've got our branding stripes down the side in white and black. We have these stripes here on the side as well. We have the red pinstripes, the white version... The Yogarishima, 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 I'm not sure on the pacing of that word. Uh, we also have this Team Zero one. I do like that, actually. Something about that just matches with that car really nicely. We have the Candy Box, the Fleeker, the Speed Demon, the Negative one. Uh, I'm not too sure on that side bit, but that front bit actually looks all right. Then we have some Redwood, and then we have Split Camo. Would have been nice if we could have just had full camo. Don't know why we have to have this silly split business. I'm sure it's a reference to something. Do you know what? I'm actually going to go for the Team Zero. I don't use liveries enough, and I kind of like that. Okay, on to the main parts then. Spoilers. We have a bunch of them. We have DuckTales galore in different color versions as well. Wedged DuckTail, primary versions, carbon versions. Ooh, some Super DuckTales. They do look nice. Primary Super DuckTail. That is nice. Then we also have some Bolton Wing style ones as well. I mean, if I wanted to make this a bit more race car-y, you would think that I would go for these. But I really want to go for that primary Super DuckTail. I like how the livery blends in with it. I think that looks really nice. I'm going to go for that. On the front bumper, we have lots of options here. We have our fins on the side. Primary color, secondary color, carbon. We have some splitter options as well. These seem to be mostly the splitter options and not really taking away from that stock bumper because I guess you don't really need to so actually I'm gonna go for the secondary color and I'm actually gonna go back and go for that secondary color vent because uh, I want to try something oh it's also only on one side we'll try it out I'll, I'll play with this in a minute so yeah I like this one because it also matches with the shape of the bumper as well it's not just sort of one that's just attached underneath I like that it blends in. Rear bumper options, primary color, secondary color. It's just going to change this bit down here. Then we have the GT as well. Just changes that diffuser up a little bit. I like just having that in carbon, I think. And also, seems that we've got this on the rear. Maybe I should go for the carbon diffuser to match. Or I go for the secondary. Seems that we've got that on the front as well. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. Which means I'll probably go for secondary on the side skirts. But we'll see what we've got. Primary, secondary, carbon. Okay, and then we have the fins... And we also have the super fins as well. The super fin actually doesn't look too bad, but I kind of just want to go for that secondary extended. I like how that looks. That's pretty good. Exhaust options. Well, we have our dual exhausts on both sides. We can also have those in titanium as well. Aluminium with that awful sort of bean can texture. I hate it. We have our oval. We have our titanium ovals. Then we have the Infinity exhaust as well. Actually, I like that Carbon Infinity just because it blends in massively well. It makes it just not stand out at all. And I quite like how that it looks on this car, so I'm going to go for that. On the cage, well, we have gone for a pretty racy style interior. So I think it might be worth going 
for a nice cage as well. In the secondary colour, we do also have some padded and some real reinforced ones as well. Secondary reinforced. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, okay. We're going for that reinforced secondary. I kind of wished we didn't have that uh, padding at the top. It's either that or I just go for this. Yeah, let's just go for this. It looks nicer. On the grill, we have some carbon surround versions. We have the slatted. Okay, that really changes the, the look on the front. We have carbon slatted. We have our meshed grill. Meshed grill actually looks all right. We also have this sort of like um, Hyundai Genesis one. <laughs> it just looks like Hyundai Genesis. Then we just have that in a bunch of different ones. This one looks like a, a Kia K5. Why does this give me some like Korean car vibes? I don't know. These just seem like very Korean car style grills. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. I actually really just like that stock grill. We could go for something with a secondary color tied into it, which would be that one. But I'm not really that into it, I'll be honest. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to go for the carbon mesh on that one. As uh, I quite like the mesh. Okay, bonnet options, carbon, which also still has the livery coming through, which does look cool. Then we also have that smooth. We have some carbon smooth as well. A bunch of different ridged ones. Different versions with ducts in them. We also have the vanity hood. Uh, so again, my comments earlier about why would you do that? I guess if you wanted the vanity hood, it makes sense to make your engine look good, I guess. And there we go. Oh, actually, I do like these race fins. I wouldn't have them in secondary color or carbon. I'll go for the primary. But that looks really mean. I like that. Okay, then we also have some options on the mirrors. Carbon, primary, and stock. I guess stock is actually secondary. Okay. Well, if we go for primary, then it also ties in with the livery as well. So we'll go for primary. We also have our light options in different colors. I'm not really as big of a fan of those as I should be. So I'm going to keep them stock. On the roof, we have carbon roof options, which sort of looks... Oh, for a second there, it's like invisible or like semi-transparent. And then I move... Okay, it's just a slight visual glitch. Then we have that with the striped version of the carbon. We have the ridged ones. I do like the shape of the ridged. And the bevel. I'm not too sure on that bevel, but the ridge looks all right. Then we can upgrade our brakes, transmission, engine, suspension. What sort of drops have we got? Okay, it does slam it with a wee bit of camber, but it's nothing too crazy. That's definitely livable. Actually, I'm just going to keep that. As it is, I might tweak it with V-stamps in a second. On the paints, let's see what we've got here. Well, going through all the different colours, I think that dark steel actually works best. Maybe we can go for a metallic version of that dark steel just to make it a little shinier. But I think that that goes really nicely with the rest of it. Then on for the secondary colour, I'm kind of thinking of matching with the blue if I can find a similar one. The racing, oh, the racing blue is slightly different, isn't it? Or the ultra blue, even the ultra blue is different. Okay. Right, we're going to need a different mod for this. Okay, custom color. Let's just give ourselves 150 green, 150 blue. Let's see what this gives us. Okay, that's pretty close. We could definitely, like, take some of that green away. This is actually on primary color, so I know that I've actually put that in the wrong color. But if we use this as a way to find one that just blends in really well. Okay, I'm definitely getting close with this one. Okay, I think I've got that color match pretty well. It's slightly different, but you're not really going to notice it. So that's 15, 170, 200. Okay. 170, 200. And apply that. And now we've got a perfect match. And actually, now that I've got the perfect match, it blends in so much nicer with that livery. See, now that is something you can't do on online. That is very close. It's not identical. You can definitely see a line there. Actually, taking away the red is what I had to do. I didn't really need to add the red in there. And that blends it in even better, I think. Oh, I'm actually really pleased with that color matching. Okay, as for wheels, I kind of like this Forge Star or the Modern Mesh. They're actually both really nice wheels, and I think they go really nicely with this. So I'm going to go for the Forge Star, and I want to keep them white because I think it looks great. We'll also go for the windows, and we'll just tint them down just a little bit on a light smoke. And we'll add our turbo. Yeah, this is actually turning out really nicely. I like this. Okay, bit of V-stancer. We make the wheels a little wider, which also pokes them out a bit more towards the arch. But I don't think I really need to do much more than that. I might actually just get that rear height up just slightly so that I can give us a bit more track width without it sort of being too much. 
I think that's quite a good balance. I don't want to stance this out. I want this to actually look usable. So then I can put that to about there. It's got some very thick arches on it. But I'm actually really pleased with how this looks. I think I am definitely onto a winner here. The thing is you can't do this in online, I don't think. I don't think you have the ability for custom RGB colors. But as you can see from on screen, I did have that. I think it was like 17200, uh, right? Yeah. I think this has turned out really nicely. I am actually happy with it. I wasn't too sure about this car to begin with. It doesn't have a lot of parts for it. But I think ultimately I've made something very cool. Well, there we go, guys. That is it. Um, I did post a video on Monday that was the new style that showed you like three different builds in a video. You can go back and check that out if you haven't. Let me know what you think of the format. I'm still trying to figure it out if you guys like that format or not. So go ahead and check the video out. Let me know what you think. Because uh, we've also got a lot of cars still to cover. All the best ones still to come. I've mostly just been checking out the drip feed cars for now. I know you guys have been getting on at me telling me to check them out. I know they're there. They are coming. <laughs> Do not worry. But wow. I'm in love with this car. I think it looks great. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. But that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Oh.